Hi everybody, I'm routinely asked, how do I join the UN? People will send me their CVs, they'll ask about job openings, are there any jobs coming up that they can apply for? So I thought I'd take a little bit of time and actually explain the process. So, there is no special way, there is no secret method of getting into the UN. You don't need to know people, you don't need to get a government to lobby for you. In fact, you definitely shouldn't do that. It comes down to looking at the job opening. What is it that we're actually looking for? What have we advertised for? If we're asking for two years, five years, seven years experience in doing a thing, then you've got to have two or five or seven years experience of doing that thing. Don't embellish your CV, don't embellish your work experience. Certainly don't lie on us because it will be found out during the process. And you'd be surprised how many people try to do that. So look at what we're asking for. Do you genuinely have that experience or pretty much all of it? Then look at the educational requirements. The UN is principally a master's recruiting organization. Be that right or wrong, I'm not convinced it's the right way, but that's the way it is for now. So if you don't have the educational requirements that we're asking for, then you won't get through the paper sift. Then look at the languages we're asking for. Do you need fluency? in a specific language. It'll often be one of the six UN languages or more. Typically English and French are the principles, followed by Spanish, Arabic, Chinese or Russian. So read the job opening really carefully and make sure that you actually have that language that we're asking for. Then start to look at that entire application. Look at the cover letter, get it right, grab my attention as a hiring manager. I get hundreds of these things and many of them, frankly, they're dull and they don't address what I need to know. I'm really happy that you want to join the UN, but I don't need to be told in the cover letter that you think the UN's amazing and that's the only thing you care about. What I do need to know is that you have the skill set, the knowledge, the experience, the education, the languages that that job opening is asking for. So tell me that. Tell me in the first paragraph. Tell me that you meet or you exceed the job opening requirements because that will make our job as the recruiting team so much easier. Then if you get through that point, then it's on to the written assessment. And the written assessment will be based around the technical knowledge required for the job. So if it's about anti-money laundering or terrorist financing or cybercrime, you can expect the written assessment to be about these areas. Then if you get through that and though you're into that last stage of interviews and the interviews are competency based. So we're looking for you to explain, to tell us about a time when you've done something that is directly relevant to the skill set that we're seeking to hire. So for example, if I'm asking you to tell me about a time when you've had a professional challenge, tell me about your current job. Tell me about how you can link that to the job opening that you've applied for. Bring all of these things together, show you how you're a candidate of worth, how you're the best candidate out there, how you know your profession inside out, and then the process will go for you. It'll work for you. So take the time, complete your personal history profile, that's our UNCV, really well, in great depth. It takes ages, I know I've done it so many times myself. It can take a couple of weeks to get it right. Get someone who doesn't know what your job is to read your application form, especially the cover letter. Because if it's full of jargon, I'm not gonna understand it. Okay, so get someone who doesn't know what you do to read that cover letter and really understand, really explain in nice, clear language what it is you do and why you wanna join us. Good luck.